Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like that song right there. Because I think in my life, man, you can't get enough deliverance. Glory to God. You can just overflow and overflow and overflow and overflow in the blue. Glory to God. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Let's get out of here real quick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brings me out of something. Yeah. Hallelujah. I love when he takes me from a place where I thought I couldn't get out of. Glory to God. And he looses me and I go to where I need to go. Glory to God. I thank God for it. Amen. And we ain't played that a long time. Glory to God. I love that song. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. We will not prolong the time. Glory to God. We want to thank everybody for joining us today and all those watching on the Ustream, on the Slug TV Network. Amen. Thank God that you have joined us for the last Sunday of 2015. Come on. Let's go down and praise for that. Let's go down and praise for that. Amen. Amen. Many didn't make it. Glory to God. Many didn't make it. Glory to God. But we have the opportunity, we have the activities of our limbs, we can speak, we can see, we can walk, we can jump, we can hop, we can glory to God. Give me praise for making it another Sunday. Another Sunday. Glory to God. Another Sunday of a blessed year. Amen. Amen. I call 2015 the best year yet. Amen. The best year yet. Glory to God. Glory to God. That was my best year yet. I thank God for it. Amen. I thank God for every year before that. Amen. But we know what the Lord dropped into my spirit a couple weeks ago. Said every year before 2016 was just practice. Every year. So that, hey, that's just practice. But next Sunday is game time. Next Sunday is game time. Amen. And we thank God for game time. Thank God for game time. Amen. Like I said, I'll put this down. Amen. I don't know about y'all, amen, but that could just bless your socks off. Glory be to God, to just know that you got an opportunity, amen, to go another year to praise God and know that every year before that was just practice. So that means your slips, your snares, when you're in bondage, those places where you feel like you can't get out, glory be to God, now you can be active in the game. Active in the game. Amen. So another year of Sunday services is in the books. Glory to God. 52 Sundays of faith. Glory to God. Each week is pressing and believing God. Amen. He will see you through. Glory to God. Like I said before, if you were alive right now, you just did that. You just did that. Even though it may have been bittersweet, good, bad, you win some and you lose some, but glory to God for all he has manifested in 2015. Thank God for it. Because you made it. Thank God for it because you made it. Thank God for it because you made it. Amen. I thank God. My God, my God. <laughs> my God, my God. That's all I can say. <laughs> my God, my God. Glory to God because he brought us through. When we didn't think we was going to come out. Glory to God. But we out. Glory to God. And I can't wait till next week. Glory to God. I can't wait till Thursday night or whatever. Like that. I can't wait till Thursday night so I can also walk into that thing. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Like I said, remember all the years before 2016 was just practice. Uh -huh. So next week is game time. Glory to God. Before we go into another Sunday, game, man, let's give God a shout of praise real quick. Hallelujah! Yes, Lord! Hallelujah. So, so, so this, this, this last Sunday, man, it's going to be real points in time. You know how when you go to a TV show and you're in an audience and they put up the thing and say applause. Oh, amen. Amen. So whenever I say this, that means praise. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. We got to praise God. Amen. And that's what the TV producer does when they want to raise their ratings. Glory to God. They be like, oh, that was good. You are not the father.
bargaining and all that type of stuff. That was good, amen. Yeah. So we got a skipping break. Oh. Oh, Y'all at home, we got to pray. Oh, yeah. We got to give him praise. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So this sermon we're going to talk about a little something, but before we go in there, we're going to go into surgery. Uh -huh. All right. This is Dr. Rue. Come on. We're going in we're going into surgery before we can go into 2016. Glory to God. We are no more Sunday kiss, Sunday kiss, Lord, I'm not sick, I'm no more Sunday kiss, I'm not sick, I'm not sick. Lord, I told I'm not sick, I'm not sick, I'm not I'm Dr. Ruth. Glory to God. So before we go into 2016, glory to God, I'm about to cut you. I'm about to also sew you back up so you can be healthy in 2016. I got my snips. Got my assistant. It's time to cut you. Alright, so I'm going to say prune me. Before we can grow the proper way, we're going to have to prune and cut off some things so we can grow the way we need to grow. Glory to God. So before we go in there, we're going to have to cut out some cardinality. Yes, 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 yes. Cut out some carnality yes. so you can be healthy. Amen. Amen. Like a doctor, you hate going to see them wow. because it hurts. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. You hate going to the doctor because it hurts. Yes. Seems like you, you feel bad already, but when you go there, you leave even worse. Uh -huh. Because they're taking something out of you that doesn't yes. need to yes. be there. Yes. Uh -huh. You hate to go to the doctor because it hurts. Yes. But we need our healing. Yes. So it, it doesn't matter how much pain we have, we have to go because he knows what I need. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 We need a healing. Then we pay a copay. Uh -huh. Then we go back to get a checkup. Yes. Yes. So you already don't want to go because it hurt. Yes. Then you pay a copay. Uh -huh. Now you're hurting again. Uh -huh. Amen. Then you go back for a checkup. Come uh -huh. on. Amen. Why do we honor a doctor more than the men and women of God? Why do we honor a doctor more than the men and women of God? Like I said, we go to them because we know we need our healing. Amen. We go, but it hurts because when they go, they cut, they do surgery on us. They cut those things that are not supposed to be up in us so we can be right and be healthy. Yeah. Then we pay a copay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then we go back for a checkup. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why don't we honor God's people like this? Come on. We ready to quit church when a pastor tells us the truth. But we go to the doctor uh -huh. on time. Pay a copay, uh -huh. then go buy medicine uh -huh. when all we have to do is listen to the man and woman of God. If something is killing you or harmful to your body, yes. you go to that place to get that thing up out of you. Yes. Because it really can destroy you. Yes. So what I just did right now, I'm just cutting out a little bit of cardinality out of this. Uh -huh. yes. So we can cut this thing out so we're going to look in the natural, but we can look in the spirit. Yes. Yes. So I'm Dr. Rue today. Don't get mad at me as pastor, but think of me as a doctor since, yes. we, honor, uh -huh. since we honor doctors more than pastor. Uh -huh. But you're going to go back to him when he tells you the truth about your symptoms. Uh -huh. You will run to him yes. because you have a symptom. Uh -huh. I'm sick, doc. Uh -huh. Come on over here and holler at me, and I got a copay of three hundred dollars. I'm gonna be there in the morning. Now don't be late, cause I will charge you. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna be late. Uh -huh. Why do we honor a doctor more than the man and women of God? Uh -huh. Why do we honor a doctor more than the house of God? Uh -huh. <coughs> it's my first time cutting y'all for real. Uh -huh. But practice is over. Uh -huh. I gotta get you guys ready for the next year, so it's gonna be pruning. Yeah. Now you hear that voice, you hear that tone? That's real talk. Right? Uh -huh. yeah. That's what you know. Your pastor's fun, pastor. Uh -huh. Cool little dude. Uh -huh. But practice is over. Yes, yes, right. That's authority. You hear that? You hear that? The tone just changed. 
When my kids at home hear that, they know it's no joke. When my wife hear me talk like this, she know it. Let me get attention. Clipping time. Clipping time. In order for us to grow to where we need to grow, I have to clip you. Because if I see something that's not right in you, I don't want it to destroy you. Then you come back and say, I have a problem. But I've been telling you about the problem, but you mad at me, but you're going to the doctor with your problem. People would rather go to a psychiatrist or a shrink than go into the man and woman of God and admit you have an issue. But the Lord says, I can fix your issue. I can heal you. I thank you for doctors, glory to God, I'm not talking against them, but I'm talking about we have to honor God yes. the same way we honor men. Yes. I'm Dr. Rue, I'm just clipping you today. Yes. I put a post up a couple weeks back, I love you so much I would tell you uh -huh. the truth, yes. but I would not love you so much that I can see you drown. Oh, All right. Amen. Good. Good. I want you to succeed, yes. but that don't mean I'm going to let you bleed. So I said I'm going to cut you today, but now I'm also going to sew you back up. I, don't, I, I want you to, to grow. So whenever you go and you got to get something removed from you, glory to God. It may hurt, but you're going to have to endure the pain so you can be healed. So what we got to do, we got to cut out carnality so we can see the spirit of God. And walk in the spirit of God. Amen. Yeah. So that's another story. Glory to God. So like I said. Before we go any further in our surgery. We got to sign a waiver. Yeah. Yeah. You know how you sign a waiver before you go into surgery. And you're like. Hey you have to sign this just in case this don't work. Come on. That's right. Just in case this don't work. Sign a waiver so you can't sue me. Come on. Come on. Amen. So this is the key. We get mad when it don't work for us because the pastor said it's going to work. But did you know that you sign a waiver when you go to surgery and they say it may not work? You have to sign a waiver. Amen. So this is the key. All waivers, check this out. All you have to do is say amen. Listen to this. Are you ready to go to the next level? Amen. Now this is the conditions. It may not come when you want it to come. God. It may not go where you want it to go. You want some deliverance? I said amen. Why it ain't happen? Because it may not come. There's conditions. You got to get cut out of that way of thinking that you was before. You can't think you're going to be blessed. Glory to God. And you got hatred in your heart. Cut it out. You can't expect to be blessed. Glory to God. If you don't have faith. Cut doubt out of your heart. I'm trying to get you to, to receive your 2016. You can receive it, but we don't want to delay. I don't want no more delay. I can't do it. I can't do it. I've been waiting for 2016 for a year. November of 2014, I said, I'm already in 16. This is the last Sunday in 15. This is the key. I said amen to the waiver. Even though it didn't come on time, I still said yes. That's it. So the whole year, I've been cutting out doubt. I've been cutting out worry. I've been cutting out depression. I've been cutting out these things. So when my 2016 comes, I don't have to wait. Because it's here. Amen. Amen. So before you can go, you need to get some stuff out of you that will stop you from growing into your God-given potential. So today we are going to remove carnal thinking out of our mind. Carnal thinking out of our mind. It says patients need to be prepped. Check this out. Patients need to be prepped. They got to go on a fast. They got a diet before surgery. It's performed. But we can't even go on a fast with a church. So what I'm doing is bringing this stuff up to 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 to, to reality. How can we go around these men's uh, prescriptions and we can't get the prescription of God? This is cutting the day because I want y'all to be blessed. Listen to this. If you can go on a fast by a doctor's request and can't go on a fast by your pastor's request, that's carnal thinking. Yes. Cut that out of your heart yes. Because I'm trying to get you to have a, a healing That no man has to touch you yes. 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 Oh yeah I gotta get a colonoscopy I gotta, You going on a fast for that oh. To get some out your life oh, no. oh, oh, oh. 
That was just a, a couple little cuts, just a slip, slip. And when you get pruning, it's not going to take everything off. It's going to take the bad parts off. You know, it, it just might be like, oh, that's out of place. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't like we cutting your whole arm off. And you still can't be functioning. It's just those little things that you may not see that you just do to clip them off. You know what I mean? Clip them off. Yeah, Glory to God. Yeah. So now we go in. Now faith. Now what? Mm -hmm. Now we sewing you back up. Yeah, it says we talk about faith. Uh -huh. We talk about this. But we got to know that without faith it is impossible to please God. Mm -hmm. So without faith to know you're going to come out healed is impossible. Amen. Yeah. It says God faith. That God kind of faith. Yeah. We know that faith without works is dead. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. And sometimes we wait for our now Lord. Amen. We got to wait. Be patient for it. Yes, if you know anything about the potter's wheel, that's all the potter's wheel is for. He's making and molding yes, you and yes. pruning you and getting you to the place you need to be. So you can be a perfect vessel. Whatever you are, there's many vessels of wood, or, you know, iron, gold, silver, glory to God, platinum. But it's different things, different vessels. Amen. So today we finally get to complete our last Sunday of 2015. The Build the Kingdom Year. Amen. We thank God we built the kingdom. We praise God Amen. for it. Amen. Amen. This is the last day yeah. of a Sunday. Amen. So, Amen. our main scripture for today is Hebrews 11 and 1. Amen. As your doctor, I want you to be healed. Yes, yes. Glory to God. I, want you, I don't want nothing to come back on you. Uh -huh. You know how stuff come back? Like, oh, I thought it went away. Uh -huh. Doctors be like, well, you signed a waiver. I told you that. Uh -huh. come on. I told you that. I don't know. Come on, come on. Jesus. I don't believe in God anyway. Oh, a lot of doctors think they're God. Uh -huh. yes. Well, you know what? Uh, when we say ten, we ain't gonna let this one. Uh -huh. Same like lawyers in 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 the, in the in the world, I would get in trouble. Uh -huh. If you give me these four, I'm gonna give you these three. Uh -huh. That's what they do. Uh -huh. Lawyers and the judge, they best friends. People don't even be knowing that. They be golfing. You give me these four, I'm going to give you these three. Uh -huh. It's a system. Yes, yes. People think they die. Uh -huh. Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, uh -huh. the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. Now everybody say now. Now. Glory to God. Now it says at the present time. Uh -huh. In the next moment, very soon. Amen. In the present situation. At the time or the moment. Glory to God. So now. So now faith is. Yeah. If you hear someone say, amen, uh, what they're talking about here, you would think this is a question. It says, now faith is. You might, people be like, what is faith? Now faith is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, what do I got to do? Now faith is. How am I going to get you where I need to be? Now faith is. So it seems like they're answering a question right here. Now faith is because someone is asking about faith. Uh -huh. Amen. It also says, check this out. Now hear me clear. See what happened was. Okay, see what happened was, I believe this would happen, see what happened, this is what happened. Amen. So they try to explain this thing. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not seen. Glory to God. So the substance in the dictionary, it says the physical material from which something is made or which is discrete in existence. So now we have faith, we, we try to believe for something, we try to see that thing to come into our life. Amen. We try to see the manifestation of some things, but we have to wait on it. So it says, faith is what you have before the manifestation comes into the vision into your hands. Amen. Faith is what you have before the manifestation comes. Yes, Lord. Before it comes into vision, because before it comes into view, before it comes into your hands. Amen. Faith is what you have before the manifestation comes into your vision, into view, into your hands. So before you get it, you have to faith it. Come on. I'm believing for that. I don't have it yet, but I have faith for it. So when it comes, glory to God. Know this. These things are, are here because you're hoping for them. Yes. You're praying for them. You're fasting for them. Yes. You're believing for them. Yes. Now, this is where you get prepped for your blessing. Uh -huh. This is where you get prepped for your surgery. Uh -huh. This is where you get prepped because it says, now you're praying, uh -huh. you're fasting, yes. and you're believing. So we're talking about what the doctor can do, but now we're talking about spiritually what God can do. Yes. Because before you get to that place of getting what you need, you have to be prepped for it. That's right. Yes. And the waiver is, do you have faith or not? Come on now. Come on. It says, because you can see it, glory to God. 
you could, but it ain't. And you like, man, I have faith to believe it. I can see it in my face. I don't got it yet. It hasn't manifested yet. But today we're going to take it a step further with some fresh revelation. It says, when you get what you have faith for, now what? Now faith, now what? So you finally was hoping for this thing. You finally was looking for this thing. But now you get it, now what? Now, and that's what this word be sowing you up a little bit. It says, now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for being the proof of the things which we do not see and the conviction of the reality that faith perceiving as real fact that is not revealed into the senses. Glory to God. Amplify me, turn it up. This is the confirmation. Now faith is the confirmation. Now faith is the substance. Now faith is the thing that I'm holding and hoping for. And the message, it says, the fundamental fact of existing, that is the trust in God. Yes. Mm. This is where you trust in God situation. Yes. Right. I'm being prepped. Yes. I'm being ready for it. I'm fasting for it. I'm waiting on it. It says this face. It says it's the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. Yes. You can hope for tomorrow if you can believe for tomorrow. Yes. Uh -huh. My life was still worth living when I had $16. Because my faith said, this is not your win. It said, the abundance of rain is here. That was my hope. That was my hope. I didn't know when it was going to come. He told me that almost a year exactly ago. But I was holding on to it. You get one word from God, you better hold on to it. Believe it. It says, it's our handle on what we can't see. It says, the act of faith is what distinguished our ancestors, set them above the crowd. It's time for us to be set above the crowd in our faith. Amen. Don't, don't give trust in man. Give your trust in God. Amen. So, glory to God. He can see you through this thing. Your life is worth living. Your life is worth living. Some of us want to give up on life. Oh, it's too hard. Somebody got it harder than you. Come on. Oh, I can't make it. Somebody really can't make it. Your life is still worth living. Hey, when people say I have nothing to live for, glory to God. That can mean they don't have faith or hope for tomorrow. So what we got to do, we got to get out here in the highways and byways and let people know you can make it. We got to go out here and tell people, man, God is good, man. Have faith. You got to believe. What is faith? Now faith is the substance of things hope for. You hoping for a meal, have faith for it. Because now God will touch a man's heart to go get you a meal. You have to faith for a job. God can touch a man's heart to give you a job. So now you get it now what? Woo. Now you get it now what? In Matthew 6, we're going to just paraphrase. It says, don't worry about your clothes. Don't worry about your food. Don't worry about tomorrow. Amen. Just have faith also. Amen. Just have faith also. My God, my God, my God. It said that passage of scripture says, Oh, ye of little faith. Oh, ye of little faith. You worry about tomorrow. Uh -huh. Let tomorrow worry about itself. Yeah. Let, let, let it worry about itself. And it says, You have to have faith to please God. So you please God first by having faith. Then you believe God and faith to bring what you're hoping for to come to pass in your life. Yes. Read that one more time. It says, you have to have faith in God to please God. So please God first by having faith. Then believe God in faith to bring what you're hoping for in your life to pass. Amen. Now what? Now faith. Glory to God. It says, when we get to a place of manifestation, it is not faith anymore. It's evidence. When you get to a place of manifestation, it's not faith anymore. It's evidence. It's evidence that you believed in God for the things that you're hoping for. Now it's evidence. Now you can show the others who don't have faith. This is real. Come on now. I had faith for this. Now I got it. This is the evidence from my God. Come on. All we glory to God. All we are are servants. A servant of God. Here's the faith on the platter. You didn't see nothing at first, but you believed for it. Now we're here. Now I serve you. Now I serve you. You believe me for this? Glory to God. You, you believe it? Say amen as your waiver. It may not come when you want it, but here it is. Right when you think it's not on time. Cool. And people in cardinality, oh yeah, that ain't real. That's where we cutting that out at. 
Because it says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you may think your know it's going to be death. Because check this out. If you glory to God, if you're a person like me, who've been waiting on the abundance of rain, and you don't see no rain, and then you come out there, and then you see the rain come and manifest, you're going to say, I have faith for real. My ship is going up and down, and it seems like I'm not going to go to where I need to go when I come out victorious. That's faith. It's not faith no more. It's evidence. It's not faith no more. It's evidence that my God is real. Now faith, now what? Now faith is a substance. Now the faith, I have faith to believe this thing. It ain't came yet. I'm getting prepped for it. Amen. Like I'm going to the doctor. I'm fasting. I'm praying so I can be ready to receive this thing. Glory to God. Because if you know anything about fasting, when you're fasting and you're praying, you're just focused on God. You're believing in faith and you're focused on God. You're looking toward the, 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 the mark and you're pressing toward the mark. Amen. So when you finally get it, it's evidence. So when you get to a place of manifestation, it's not faith anymore. So what we're doing, we faith in it to faith it. We're faith to faith. Amen. So when we complete that level, we're going to the next level. Last Sunday in 15, we completed 15. Now we go on to 16. But the same faith that got us here is going to have to go even higher to keep us where we're going. Glory to God. So check this out. That's when we got to cut out that old faith. You pass that level. You ain't believing God for a job no more. How you believe in God for a promotion? Faith to, you got the job now. That's the evidence. I thank God I was faithful over this thing. Amen. I was coming at time. I'm getting my time card. Click it in. I went to work for a year now, boss. Come on, man. I'm in good. I need a promotion. So now I'm praying and I'm hoping for a promotion. So now the promotion comes. I don't got to pray no more because now it's evidence. I have faith to get the job. Now I have faith to get the promotion. Glory to God. And we got to keep on faith in it. To faith in it. Now evidence. Evidence is something which shows that something else exists or is true. It says the visible sign of something. Material that is presented to a court of law to help find truth about something. We got to help people find out there's truth about our God. What is faith? Now faith is the things hopeful. Why don't you try this about? Why don't you try my God? Yeah. So when they get out, I'm like, man, that stuff do work. Yes. Yeah. Man, prayer do work. Me and my son, I was texting him. By the, by the leading of the Lord, I was reading a 40-day book and was texting him uh, 40-day prayers. Uh -huh. He believed in God for a job. Yeah. My son got a job. Boom. Yeah. He said he was believing God for promotion. Come on. My son got a promotion. Boom. Yeah. Uh -huh. He texted me, hey, this stuff do work. Uh -huh. But he got to the faith of now faith, now what? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He wasn't all the way pruned yet. He got the things he was believing for, but he still had a corner mind. He still had a corner mind. He got the evidence. So since you get the evidence, now what? Amen. That's what needs to be discussed. The aftermath of the manifestation. The aftermath of the manifestation. I got the blessing. I got the promotion. I got the job. Now what? It says don't stop or slow down after you get for what you prayed for. Because as much faith as it took you to get it, it will take faith to keep it. So he got faith to get all those things, but he started getting caught because now my son got money. You know when you get money, you start to feel it kind of funny. I don't need to go to work on time no more. Now you're getting back to your corner thinking because now you 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 back. 
So the faith that got you there, you're going to have to use it to keep it to where you're going. Amen. It says this, but also know how you can receive and bring glory to God. Yes. So after you get the manifestation, amen, don't think, oh, I made it. No. How can this give God glory? Yes. When people are not talking about once you get the blessing, how are you going to give God glory from this? Amen. Because it goes right back to God. Amen. And if you think that it ain't from God, here comes the pruning. Now you're coming back. You have nothing in your hand no more. Because now you thought it was you who did it. Come on. This is the key. This is what people are not talking. We're talking about faith, 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 faith. But when you get it, it's not faith no more. It's evidence. So now we should be saying evidence, evidence, evidence. Now let's go to the next thing. But how can I maintain this manifestation of the evidence that I got? What took me so hard? What had me prepping, fasting, and praying for? I got to keep it the same way. This is what the Lord will do. He will give you things to manage it. Everything we get from the Lord is not ours. We have to manage it. We're servants. All right, thank you, God. I got this position. I'm going to be the best at what I can be. I'm going to be the best what I can be. I'm going to do this right so I can bring you glory. We serving God. Or we serving man unto God. We serving our boss unto God. Even though I don't care if you don't like me, what you need me to do? Come on, that's it. It's not just to please them or to be a, a goody two shoes. It's just to please God. So now we're pleasing God from whatever state that we're in. I was faithful over this line leader. Now I'm good. Now I might be a you know, promotion. So it's a good question. This is good. If you get money, how can you bring glory to God? This is cutting it out now. Yeah. I'm about to get some overtime. I'm going to work on Sunday. How is that going to give God glory? I know you got to work some, so I'm just using this as an example so we can cut some of this stuff out so we can see how even the enemy is enticing. This is where you're, you're, you're changing the blessing into the source. And we know that the blessing is not the source. That's your job, i.e. your card. Now you, you're switching the, the roles. God is the source. The stuff is the blessing. So this is where stuff tries to go. You know what I mean? It says, now you get more money, how can you bring glory to God? I heard somebody say, you pay your tithes, so seed. I heard that. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Now you get the job. Yeah. Now what? Yeah. You get the spouse. Now what? Yeah. You get that promotion. Now what? Yeah. Amen. You get money, but you're still selfish. Yeah. Say that three times. You get money, but you're still selfish. Now here's the applause. Yeah. Oh, check this out. You know what's kind of delayed? That's the cutting. And I'm okay with that. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm your pastor, but I'm Dr. Rue today. Because uh -huh. I know you ain't going to get mad at the doctor. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're going to pay your copay and come back. Uh -huh. Now, if I was saying this is Pastor Rue, you'd be like, crucify him. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> he talking about my money. <laughs> Kill him. But I'm Dr. Rue today. Uh -huh. So whenever I got these gloves on, you can't touch me. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. It's okay to that. So if you get more money, but you're still selfish. And you tip God and you never bless no one. This is the key. So it ain't about your money. You don't even bless others. So how are you giving God glory? If you got extra, if you got excess and you see somebody going through, hey man, ties talent, and alms. Alms is when you sow seeds in somebody. Mm -hmm. You see somebody up, like me, like me, for example, we, we be going down, you know, different places in St. Louis, we see somebody in the corner, give him a five dollar bill. Here you go, man. Bless you, amen. Uh -huh. But if I see you tomorrow, I know that's your hustle. Uh -huh. Amen? Yeah, right. But if it's just somebody I know they're going through, amen, here you go, boom. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. you, you're blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. That's the key, amen, because uh -huh. it's giving God glory. It's giving God glory because you're not being selfish. You're not being thinking carnal. You're not thinking, oh, yeah, I'm a big shot. No, no, it's how can I be a blessing? You get the job and you get too busy for church. But you treat them like a side piece. Watch out, man. My God. I've been making sure I treat my baby. Ooh, we, what, what, what. My God, my God. 
so I cultivate that thing. Glory to God. Glory to God. You treat your spouse like a side piece and not like Christ and the church. How can your marriage or your relationship give God glory? It's other people who are looking at you like. White walking around, black eyes, hoes walking around with black eyes. Come on, man. I mean, hey, hoes this nigga be no I don't care how many of you is. Have a little bit more, you still go home. No wonder you stay in that church all day. Your wife be whooping you. Scared to go home. This is real life. Little, little bitty old wife climbing on your head. <laughs> My God, I come against all <laughs> combative relationships in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Glory yeah, to God. That's unhealthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory to God. You get a promotion, but you never tell no one else how to get hired. Come on. Uh -huh. That's a call right there. Uh -huh. Glory to God. You get the big head. Uh -huh. Yeah. I got it going on. Yeah, uh -huh. Y'all started together. Same day. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You went up. Now you ain't even tell your partner what he got to do to get to the next level. Uh -huh. How's that going to bring God glory? That's right. I know what's for you is for you. Amen. But if you see they struggling and they need a way out, amen, open the door for them. Yeah. Because listen, we're servants. When you ever you go to Applebee's, they open the door for you. Because it's about service. It's about service. It's about how can I serve you? How many is you're in your party? That's right. They serve you. How can I bring God glory through my life? Now what? That means go harder. More money, give more to God. That is Dr. Boo. This ain't me. I'm just using these things as examples so we can get uh, a spiritual mind. Amen? And I don't care about money. We only take up one offer, but today we're taking ten. <laughs> That's a joke. Amen. You give more money. Amen. Uh -huh. Not just to organizations. Uh -huh. Glory to God. We <laughs> was it Jude, St. Jude? Mm -hmm. Last night, me and my wife were talking about St. Jude anyway. So we, I got my wife a gift and they like, we want to do this uh, $13 protection plan. I said, sure. She's like, we want to give to St. Jude. I said, well, that's the $13 I just got put up. You know, protection plan, because I just gave to St. Jude. Uh -huh. Amen. So people will give to an organization or they will give to God, but they yeah. wonder why the church is failing. Oh, now this is a cut right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, let's raise money. Up. Senators raise 1.2 million dollars just for one city in a campaign. You can get people to donate everything, amen. But they won't give it to the organization, which is God, which is really an organism because it keeps growing. But you gotta feed it to grow. That's right. Nothing will grow if you're not feeding it. So what I'm giving you guys today is spiritual. Food, so you can digest it. It's going to hurt your carnal, your carnality part of you. But that's why we're cutting it out. So you can understand what I'm saying. It's not against your life or against your living. It's about, I'm telling you, the stuff that will destroy you in 2016. It's no more playing, guys. So it says, that means go harder. More money you can give, not just to organizations, but to your home church. Amen. A strong church, a stronger organization. Yes. Spouses, marriage is ministry. Yes. Glorify God in your marriage. Amen. Witness on your job. Tell people about your God. If God is so good, he gave you the evidence. Why you don't nobody know they, that you saved at your job? Yes. Yes. God has blessed you all year. You didn't see it another year. And don't nobody even know you saved. You're just kicking it like them. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You cussing at break time like them. You know what I'm saying? People got to know we child of God. Amen. 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 People got to know. And then it says, uh, if no one knows you at your job and you say, that's a problem. But also, there's a new app on your phone called Givelify. Givelify is giving simplified. Givelify is the fastest and easiest way to donate to the church, charity, or cause of your choice. You're not limited to the cash you have on hand. There's no need to write checks, and there are no complicated sign-up forms to fill out, websites, or text message codes to remember. 
Givelify automatically pinpoints your location and intelligently identifies the fundraiser or church service you're attending without the need to search. Since Givelify automatically detects where you are, making a donation can be completed in as few as three taps. Tap 1. Use one of the pre-configured denominations to specify the donation amount. Tap 2. Select the specific campaign to which you'd like to contribute. Tap 3. With your stored credit card, complete your donation in one tap. You get an immediate donation receipt, and you can even share your generosity on Facebook or Twitter. Givelify lets you easily see your donation history with any church or charity you donate to. You can also accurately track your donations for your taxes without needing to hunt down receipts, bank statements, or acknowledgement letters. You can also set your home and favorites. Mark churches as your favorites so you can donate as frequently and generously as you'd like, even when you're thousands of miles away. Mark the church you normally attend as your home church for quick one-tap access. Givelify. Tap. Give. Done. Givelify. If you download that app, Givelify, you'll be able to, to sow seed to us or give us a, a, a seed of appreciation or anything you like to do. Amen. So check us out on Givelify. And our church is New Beginnings Outreach International, Alton, Illinois. You'll see me and my wife's face on there. And you'll see our phone number, address, etc. You can give as much as you want. Amen. So tell a friend and tell a friend. Hey, we're going to give.